Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are making stickers, and yes, these are stickers. You can stick them right on your shirt. So, <clears throat> first thing you're going to need is paper, some paper, some scotch tape, and then some Reynolds Kitchen apartment, parchment paper, or really any type of parchment paper will do. And, so, and if I didn't say this already, some things to color with and then a pencil with an eraser and then a pen to go over the pencil. Mom, do you have a sharpener? Yeah, it's over there. Where? Okay. On the table. So, um, mm, mm, mm. let's get started. So, what you're going to need, oh yeah, and I can't forget, you're going to need scissors. So I got my scissors here. We're going to get some parchment paper. Ouch, the rush. <laughs> okay, no, anyway. We're going to get some parchment paper out. All you're going to be doing is making stickers and sticking them on this. So, another thing I'm using for my stickers is metallic markers. So, I'm going to start with my first design, and I think I'm going to make it, hmm, unicorn themed? No. Comment down below what other videos you want to see and what other stickers you want me to make. But what kind of type of sticker should I make? Ship stickers? No. Fortnite stickers? I would, but I don't know how to draw Fortnite things. Stick with the unicorns. Just like the classic. Okay, so I'm going to start with a cute little popsicle. So, which I am going... So basically what I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to be drawing this one. So yeah, let's start. So first I'm going to draw the popsicle stick. So I'm going to draw a small line. Can you see that well? Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Uh, uh, yes, no. Maybe so. Um, well, anyway, so we got a line here. Okay, you know, I'm just going to use pins so you guys, the people watching can see. I'm going to do one straight line. Oh, man, this pin's purple. One sec, guys, I need to get a new pin. A black pin. Wait, no, this is purple. Where's black? Okay, I'm just going to use gray. Um... Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna do a line. Thank you, Mom. And then basically we're gonna do this. A line, and then there's the popsicle stick. We're now kind of looks like a mouth. If you couldn't already tell, it kind of does look like a mouth or something. Um, here's that so you guys can see a little better. <clears throat> okay. Well, anyway. Okay, well, anyway, so we got the stem. And time for the ice cream part. So I want my ice cream to be pink. <coughs> Sorry, I yeah, know the ice cream is going to be white. But to do the outline, I'm going to make it pink. So we're going to do this, and we're going to do a curve up. And curve down. Oh, and these stickers are inspired by Wingy. Her channel is awesome. She did DIY unicorn school supplies. And basically, that's what I'm going to be making. But yeah. <laughs> Let's get on with this. So, I want to make some really ra pretty rainbow drips. So, I'm going to use some really, really cute, pretty colors. 
I'm going to be using these colors. So, basically I'm just going to be coloring some lines of these colors. You know, I just want some really cute colors over here. Oh, and since I'm doing this, I might as well just draw the horn on the top. <laughs> Whenever I'm done doing this, like whatever it's called, fading different colors, really cute different colors fading. Don't know what it's called. <coughs> but yeah. Okay. So, oh no, I dropped the parchment paper. It's okay. Okay, this is the, probably the closest we're going to get to a black pin. Oh, never mind, found a black pin. <coughs> oh, Mom. We have no black pin. <laughs> okay, guys, so anyway, now I'm going to just be drawing the horn with the yellow one. So basically, yeah, we need this. Then we're going to color that in and take a new black pen. Well, mine's a new one. And then basically just draw little swirls coming down from it so it looks like the markings on the horn. And then draw an, um, a C, an upside down C, then an upside down C, and put little eyelashes on them. Wait a minute, I messed this up. So guys, I'm going to make this one again, but without talking, because it's kind of ruined, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, guys. Um. Okay, guys. So, I'm trying to get the camera angled right. It's hard to get things angled, you know? I know. Okay, well, hopefully this is good. Okay. Well, anyway, so we are going to start off with this, and then go like this, okay guys, now I'm just going to draw the ears of the unicorn. Guys, you can also do coloring last. That's what you sh what I should have done, but I didn't, sadly. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to use some... Uh, mm -mm -mm. A tiny bit of silver to color this popsicle. And yes, this is metallic Crayola marker. This is a Crayola metallic marker. Um... Basically, yeah, I'm coloring it right now. If you couldn't, if you can't see that, would you um? Should be able to. Oh, you guys are seeing it upside down. Oops. Um. Well, anyway, that's okay. So I'm just gonna be coloring the horn like this. And then the inside of Unicorn's ears, just like all horses, I'm pretty sure are pink. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. So now I'm going to do the stick. Okay, and then for the eyelids, because I want mine to be closed, you know. So I am going to be doing this. Yeah, can you guys see that one good? All right. Well, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do little lines, like three eyelashes, and then a happy face. Okay, guys, so once we've done that, now we are going to take, oh my gosh, this is bright. Now we're going to take our design, oh, your design and my design. And, oh no, I got two papers here. 
and cut this out on here is what we're working with. So we're going to cut this out. Oh, and you guys can draw this on any type of paper, even if it's lined paper. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna be cutting this like through all the lines because like the horns and the ears, they're really difficult lines. Yeah. Um. Okay, so, uh, uh. so basically now what I am doing is cutting it out. So once you are done cutting it out, like me, okay. So I finished just finished cutting it, cutting it out. Now it is time to use the tape. Oh no, no, got stuck. Oh. Uh, tape got stuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now it is officially time to tape it. So what we what you want to do is take some tape. Put take your design on the tape. And then I fold it back, and then basically I cut it with while, and I leave some space around it of the tape, basically. Okay, and so once I got both sides covered, I just take a tiny bit more of this tape, or of the tape, and I take some, one sec. <coughs> one sec guys the tape is stuck to the tape holder okay and i'm just going to take a tiny bit of that put it over the top and you know just cut it out once again with leaving some room for the tape to stick out okay so we basically got this out. Okay, great. Time to get the parchment paper. Okay, great. I got the parchment paper. And once you got the parchment paper, you can just stick this on it. And you know, whenever you want, you feel like you want a sticker, you can just peel it on off. You guys, you may want to push it down with something on the paper just to make sure it doesn't come off whenever you're, like, holding it, you know? Okay, the next unicorn-themed thing is a really cute cloud. So, basically, um, what we're going to do now is... I'm going to position you guys like this so you guys can see what I'm drawing. Like, but front way, my way. Okay, guys, so I draw a line, and I do a bump, then I another bump. Same thing on the side, bump, another bump. Then I do one big bump that connects all the bumps. And then I do the cute little eyes, you know? If you're wondering where I am, I'm at my mom's school. Okay. Well, anyway, I kind of messed up the black eyes, so we're going to basically flip this on the back. We're going to go line, jump, jump. Okay, not the best thing I've done, but anyway. And yes, this process does take a while, so, okay. Oh, um, where's the lid? Okay. I don't even care about the lid, Mom, I care. So I'm going to do like a little smiley face, and then I'm going to take some pink for like some rosy cheeks and just go like that. Okay, and then, 
go over to house a little too fast. Um, <laughs> but, and then I'm going to take this thing, cut it out, and leave like a 20 centimeter line. But yeah, here's what it looks like. Time to cut it out. Okay. So yeah, I'm cutting it out basically. Okay guys, so I cut it out. Not the best cutting job I've ever really done. And I didn't really leave two centimeters. So we're just not, so we're just not gonna put that one on the thing. And now we're going to do a thing that's, and then write a thing that says believe in like one of those like banner thing. So we're gonna go B. So we're gonna go B. E L I E E V and then E. Okay, so we wrote believe. Um now we're just gonna go over it with this orange color. Gonna basically like color in very neatly ish because <laughs> no one's perfect. Okay, great. So now I'm going to. Cut this one out. So you could do the first way we did of how you fold the tape in and then put tape on the back or, I mean on the front, or you could do it this way. Okay. So I'm gonna do it this way and show you guys another easier way. Well, what's hard about this is coming up with the design that you wanna make. Um, but yeah, so I take this and I stick it on so I set down the paper and I stick it, the tape on it. I don't know. Um, as you can see. And then I take this. Oh no. <laughs> I take, eh. I take this and then I cut it out and I leave a lot of space around it. So then in the space that's around it, it can be um, sticky. Okay guys, since I, I just finished cutting it out, and then of course you stick it on the sticker sheet. And the problem about it being smooth on the bottom is this, so this is the smooth one. And then this is the not, the one that didn't have the tape on the bottom. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna stick that on the paper. And uh, the next thing we're gonna make is a horn. So to make a horn, basically, I'm just going to do this and then do that. And I'm gonna go like this, and like that, and like that. So you see, I'm doing curves, like basically most unicorns have curves on their thing, on their um, horn. So we're going to be coloring in between the lines, basically. To just make it look cool. Okay, and now I'm, so I used this color and now I'm gonna use this really pretty color. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. And now I'm going to color this, and as you can see, they're really similar colors. But I think it looks really cute. Um, okay, great. And now we're just going to cut it out. So this is my third sticker I'm making. I've made, um... Okay. 
So we are going to just take some tape. And then cut it out. And then you guys know the rest. And then basically you just repeat that a couple more times until you fill up your sticker sheet or until you got to the amount of stickers that you basically like. Um, but I'm going to add something to it that's really cool. Um, where is it? Uh, mm -hmm. One sec. Okay, I can't find it, but it is, no, I don't even remember what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, another thing that unicorns are basically that they like. So I'm going to make a unicorn ice cream. So I'm going to get a new piece of paper and make sure there's no other paper on it. So I'm going to make basically make a unicorn ice cream. Okay, so now we're just going to do a few pumps here. Now we're going to do this. And then draw a horn, ears, ears, you know. And then I just do lines here. Okay, so we got that done. To color in the side of the ears, you're just going to like that and like that. And yes, of course, I'm going to be doing the sleeping one. Okay, so now the, um, whatever this is called, the ice cream cone. Yeah, that's what it's called. And the horn is going to be yellow. So the horn's going to be yellow to make it look kind of like gold. And then the cone, we're going to do some yellow and some orange. And then, so mine's vanilla. My ice cream is vanilla flavored, basically. <laughs> and I said I'm gonna do a curve on. I don't want to be so detailed with it, or else I may cut off an ear. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, great. Now I'm just going to. Take it, and here is what it looks like. Okay, and then I'm going to cut around it. Okay, great, and I'm gonna stick it on the page. Okay, and then stick it on the page with the rest of the stickers. And they're not all going to stay on the page. I'm going to kind of move them a bit. Okay, but yeah, this one that I made right here is not really that sticky. So I'm going to add some more tape on top of it. Um, which is why I'm cutting off all the extra hanging tape. Um, rip. Okay. Um, great. So yeah, okay, great. now we're just going to stick it back on here. And I'm going to get a piece, another piece of parchment paper to make it look cool. That paper thing to look cool. Gosh. Well, this parchment paper is very hard to rip. Okay. So we got this, and now we are going to just go and get, I need, we need something flat and heavy. And we're gonna put it on top of them. So basically what would I need is to put all these close, very close to each other and then put something like kind of heavy on them. Like so I'm going to put the, the holder thing on it. And yeah, basically because the holder thing is filled with a bunch of pens and you know that stuff that's kind of heavy. Um, yeah, so while we're doing that, I'm going to make a unicorn. Hopefully, I'm going to make a unicorn. Don't know, really. Um, but yeah. So, I'm going to start with a neck. And then the head right here. 
I'm pretty much the worst drawler ever. I mean, look at this unicorn. Look how bad that is. Okay. So, I'm actually going to do a rainbow or a cloud or something like that. Um, Mommy, got any unicorn ideas? Um, hmm. Fraction unicorn? No. I've got fractions on the brain. So we're at my mom's school. Um, hmm. Hmm. It looks like we are just going to have to do a. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Mom, how do you spell glitter? G L I T T E R? Or two T's? Don't know. Yeah, two T's. And then R E? E R. Okay, I saw them make like one of those banners. What? but with the word glitter on it, so it didn't go G, L, I, T, T, E, R. And then we're gonna go like this and go. go basically like this and go like that. Okay, and then we're gonna go over that with pen and then erase all the pencil mark. So we're gonna go G L I T T E R. Then go. Okay, now we're gonna get an eraser from a pencil and erase all the pencil mark. Hopefully it erases all of it. <sighs> okay, so now the banner is just going to be gold. <laughs> okay, um, and we are going to write the word in blue. So it's gonna go G L T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T See that? Well, I'll cut it down to show you guys, and it'll look good at least. Okay. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to basically just be cutting this out. Sorry if it's getting a little too boring for you guys, because uh, it made the video maybe long. Um, but yeah. This is actually a really fun thing to do whenever you're bored. And it does not use that many materials. All it uses is like tape, paper, pens, pencils, markers. It doesn't really matter what you color with. So all you need is basically scissors, a pen, a pencil, colored things to color with, um, and parchment paper and tape. Okay, great. Now we got this one done. We're going to put this in the thing that that big heavy um, thing's been sticking on. This. And now on all the extra tape lines, just to make sure they stick nicely. And then no. <laughs> to make sure they stick nicely, you are going to want to set. 
some parchment paper on top of the parchment paper that has stickers on it. And then set something heavy on it for like 10 to 20 minutes. 10 to 20 minutes later. Um, okay, it's been 10 to 20 minutes later. Well, it is 10 to 20 minutes later. Oh, and I also cut it um, before 10 to 20 minutes later. 10 to 20 minutes ago. Um, but here's what it looks like. Subscribe, leave a like, comment, share. Um, comment what you want, what type of stickers you want me to make next. Share this video to your friends. Share my channel to your friends. Subscribe, leave a like, comment. Turn on post notifications so you're the first one to know whenever I post a new video. And see ya.